Cooking with Kelsey. Let's cook. Hello there. My name is Kelsey, and this is episode one of Let's Cook. Today is going to be the first day of the rest of your life. We're going to be learning how to make haddock chowder. And you'll see some of my friends along the way. Cheers. Let's get to it. I'm using pork belly here that I got from the local butcher, but you can totally use bacon. I par cooked these potatoes and we're just gonna give them a rough chop. We need to get that pan smoking hot, so let's get that fire going. The first player in this game is pork belly. Once you add it to the pan, all the fat will render out and it'll become super crispy. Add your onions and sweat those babies until they're translucent like my skin. And then at which point you're gonna wanna add your leeks. Once the leeks are in, we're gonna caramelize and slow this party down, cooking for 10 to 15. Next, we're gonna add our thyme and our potatoes. These potatoes have already been par cooked, so we're just gonna get them crispy before we add our garlic. And here's me burning my mouth off because I lack self-control. Once you smell that garlic, you can start adding your stock. In this situation, I use veg stock, but you can use fish or whatever you have on hand. We're gonna let that simmer for a bit, which is a perfect time for that mandatory 15. Cooking with Kelsey. And we're back. Time to add in that corn and stir in the heavy cream. Ooh, baby, that looks good. And now for the main ingredient, the chicken. Just kidding. We're gonna gently add in the haddock, being careful not to overlap so they don't break apart, and we're gonna slow poach for six to eight minutes. And we're there, baby, that's it. So good. All that's left is to season this bad boy. We're gonna add a little salt, some balsamic vinegar, and a good drizzle of olive oil. I'm gonna toast some sourdough off over the fire and get it nice and crispy. Take a little shot of bourbon, and then you better believe we're gonna enjoy this chowder. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. The recipe is linked below, and stay tuned for more episodes. Thanks so much. I think there's some good ex exit interviews. I mean, exit, exit things. <laughs>